What's up guys, we're here in Arizona, and in this video, we're gonna show you 10 places that you can't miss when visiting here. So hope you enjoy it. Arizona is located in the southwest of the United States. It's known for wide open desert landscapes, towering canyons, Native American history, and vibrant cities. With more than 300 days of sunshine each year, Arizona is the perfect state for outdoor enthusiasts, with countless opportunities for hiking and exploring its diverse terrain. In this video, we break down 10 of the most beautiful places to visit in the state. Make sure to watch until the end, as we also give our top travel tips and itinerary options for your own road trip around Arizona. Now let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. Lake Mead is located in both Arizona and Nevada and is known to be the largest reservoir in the United States. The lake is created by the Hoover Dam, which is an engineering landmark that was completed in 1936 and now serves as a vital source of water and power for the region. The dam is open to the public and there's no charge to walk around the exterior. Some informational signs showcase the history and significance of the dam. But if you want to visit the tunnels and power plant, you'll have to take a paid guided tour. The city of Tucson is located in the southeastern region of Arizona. This culturally diverse city is known for its warm climate, stunning natural beauty, and rich history. One of the most alluring attractions in Tucson is the Saguaro National Park, which is divided into two sections, the East and the West Districts. This national park is famous for its towering saguaro cacti, which are iconic symbols of the American Southwest. The park covers thousands of acres of pristine desert landscapes, which can be explored by car or by hiking one of the many trails. It's also a great place to watch the sun dip below the horizon. Wupatki National Monument is located in northern Arizona near the city of Flagstaff. It's a unique archaeological site that offers a glimpse into the ancient civilizations that once thrived in this area. The expansive monument includes several well-preserved village ruins that were inhabited about 900 years ago. It also features a diverse landscape with painted deserts, cinder cone volcanoes, lava fields, and sandstone formations. Situated in northern Arizona, Vermilion Cliffs National Monument is a remote 280,000 acre desert that consists of beautiful sandstone cliffs and unique geologic formations. The most popular and extraordinary rock formation is the Wave. However, you need a permit to access this site, which is hard to obtain. We've entered the lottery a few times and haven't gotten it yet, but left a link in the description below the video if you want to try your own luck. Other spots within the wilderness area are accessible with permits for day hiking, such as Perea Canyon, White Pockets, and the Buckskin Gulch Slop Canyon. This monument is also on the border of Utah, and we have another full video all about that state if you're interested in learning more about it. Montezuma Castle National Monument is an ancient dwelling nestled in the arid desert of central Arizona. This remarkable cliff dwelling was built by the Sinagua people nearly a thousand years ago and has stood the test of time. The five-story high structure is built into a limestone cliff. While exploring the ruins, you learn about the daily lives of the Sinagua people, marvel at their craftsmanship, and gain a deeper understanding of their history and connection to the land.
split between the Utah and Arizona borders, Monument Valley is an iconic desert landscape, characterized by towering sandstone buttes, dramatic mesas, and orange desert floors. It's gained global recognition as the classic American West scenery that's been featured in numerous movies and photographs. But what makes Monument Valley even more extraordinary is its cultural significance. The park is managed by the Native American Navajo people, who have inhabited this region for centuries. Take some time to explore the museum at the visitor center first to understand the history here, and then explore the park by car on the scenic valley drive. We heard that Monument Valley is especially really beautiful at sunset and there's also some amazing stargazing here, so that's why we decided to camp here tonight. Glen Canyon National Recreation Area is a vast space of land and water stretching from Lee's Ferry in Arizona to the Orange Cliffs in southern Utah. The recreation area is known for its stunning scenery, geological wonders, water-based activities, and endless backcountry options. The most popular site is Horseshoe Bend, a spot where you can take in stunning views of the Colorado River as it winds through a canyon. We highly suggest visiting here around sunset time, as it's more quiet and beautiful. But Marble Canyon and Lake Powell itself are also worth visiting. The latter is a great place for boating and kayaking. Grand Canyon National Park is a vast canyon carved by the Colorado River over millions of years. It's located in the northwestern corner of Arizona and is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the United States. The canyon is 277 miles long, stretches up to 18 miles wide, and has a depth of over one mile. This makes it one of the most spectacular natural wonders in the entire world. The North Rim is less crowded and offers a remote and wild experience. However, the South Rim is the most popular part of the park and offers multiple stunning viewpoints of the canyon, as well as hiking trails and facilities. Antelope Canyon is located on Navajo land, east of the town of Page. This slot canyon was formed by millions of years of erosion from water and wind. It's now a popular tourist destination thanks to its narrow passageways and colorful sandstone walls. The two main sections are the Lower Antelope Canyon and the Upper Antelope Canyon. We visited the upper one and found it to be absolutely breathtaking. The sandstones seem to form endless natural waves in all shapes and tones. You can combine a trip to both the upper canyon and the smaller lower canyon in one day, but both can only be done by a guided tour, and capacity is limited. Make sure to book your tickets in advance. We left a link to the tour we joined in the description below the video. Sedona is a town nestled in the heart of Arizona. It's a popular tourist destination thanks to its stunning landscapes filled with colorful rock formations. Our favorite natural highlights of the area include the Seven Sacred Pools, Devil's Bridge, Bell Rock, The Birthing Cave, and Cathedral Rock. Some of these can be seen right from the road, but others you can only get to by hiking. Sedona is also known for its incredible sunsets and vortexes, believed to emit spiritual energy. After exploring these mystical sites, 
it's possible you may feel a sense of tranquility and renewal. As mentioned at the start of our video, we'll now break down our top three travel tips that will help you have the best trip possible in Arizona. First, plan your visit to Arizona during the spring or fall seasons to avoid extreme heat. Summers in this state can be scorching, with temperatures often exceeding 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The best time to visit is from March to May or September to November when the weather is milder. Second, if you're driving in Arizona, be mindful of the long distances between attractions. The state is quite large, and many iconic landmarks are spread apart. It's essential to plan your itinerary accordingly, considering travel times. Also, make sure to stay hydrated and carry water with you at all times, even in your car. Desert regions can be arid, and dehydration can be a serious concern. Finally, try to explore the vibrant desert landscapes during sunrise or sunset. The unique geological features and stunning colors of the desert truly come alive during these times, providing great photo opportunities and a serene atmosphere. Also, the temperature during these hours tends to be more pleasant. We also put together a few itinerary options on the screen here for you, depending on how many days you are planning to travel around Arizona. Phoenix or Tucson are the two best airports to fly into, depending on which route you wanna take, and depending on if you're renting a car or driving your own around the state. There are also a few other places in Arizona that are worth visiting if you have more time, and we've put some of those on the screen here for you. If you're planning your Arizona trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code in the description below. We also included important links in the description that will help you with your trip around the state, such as an interactive map to get to each place that we mentioned. We'll catch you on the next adventure.